Hey everyone, Tim the Collect Jurassic back with another Dino Trackers unboxing. Mattel's new Jurassic World line that's just hitting now at the end of 2022 and will be kind of their big toy line for 2023, but already hitting. I got this one from Amazon. This is the Wild Roar Eo Carcheria. Hope I'm saying that right, but as always, I'm sure someone in the comments will um, correct my pronunciation of this one here. I've never heard of this figure before, or sorry, this dinosaur before until Mattel went ahead and made the figure. So that's something, right? I learned something new. So Eo Carcheria here is part of the Wild Roar assortment. It's that like basic um, medium sized electronic dinosaur figure they've been doing since 2018. Um, this one looks really cool though, because you can even see from just a quick look in the box lots of textured and feathers and stuff like that so um something a little different uh a little different um you know details on this figure that i can't wait to check out uh once we get it out of the box but let's go ahead and take a look at that box this is the second dial trackers figure i've got my hands on definitely take a look at my other review of gigantic tracker Cino tyrannus um, but yeah this is the second figure i've gotten different packaging though different assortment you got blue and beta here on the left with that um, color wash jurassic world logo Dino Trackers logo. You also have the icons for the different like uh, habitat or, you know, biome that each uh, dinosaur kind of occupies, I guess. And they have mountains on here. So I'm guessing Eo Cartria is found in the mountains. Maybe not, you know, scientifically speaking, but in the world of Jurassic where dinosaurs were, have kind of taken over the world again and are roaming around. This, this guy's found on the mountains, which means he's got that blue color on the side and a logo too. So also have another Jurassic World logo on top, um, more dino trackers and stuff on the side. <clears throat> and then we have the back that shows the different way you can, um, you can activate it. It's called levels of aggression. So we'll play with that for sure once we get it out of the box. And I like this little Dino Trackers graphic here that shows all the dinosaurs and their little like icons. You got a Diabloceratops in the uh, desert with a little cactus. I think this guy is called like Dryptosaurus or something. He's in the jungle. And then we have Chronosaurus in uh, the water. So that's kind of cool. I like to see that that added level of sort of um, storytelling with the figures themselves in terms of their habitat. Let's go ahead and get figure out of the box. I think we've talked about the box enough here. So hopefully just a couple quick snips and uh, Eo Cartria will be free from the box. Sans tail. Already roaring though. Let's go ahead and pull this plastic off so we can get to the tail. I think you can just... Peel this back, hopefully, and the tail will pop out. Yep, tail's right here. Oh, look, the tail's got paint on it, too. Excellent. I love that. Um, seems like there's more paint on these figures this year um, versus some of the stuff we saw for Dominion. So I'm just going to go ahead and snap it in. <clears throat> pretty, pretty simple there. And there is um, Eo Carcheria um, out of the box. Um, you can see here uh, it's got really cool two-toned, uh, paint coloring where you know it's got this sort of like a lighter color throughout the midpoint of the body then the darker color on the head the arms too and then also the jaws got that um lighter color on the jaw too but what a what a cool looking dinosaur i mean it's the, they did a really nice job making this one feel a little bit different we have like a million different carnivores at this point right from the mattel line you know, obviously tons of T-Rexes, but we have like Seat's Micorum, Allosaurus, um, well, Cryolophosaurus, Albertosaurus, Giganotosaurus. Uh, I mean, the, the list goes on and on, right? There's so Carchardonosaurus. There's just so many uh, of sort of like generic carnivores we have. So Eocarcheria here is kind of making a different name for itself with lots of feathery detail. I mean, look at all that. I love the little... Um, spots on the legs to look like a chicken where there's not feathers but there's like little follicles for them kind of that chicken skin really fun stuff um but yeah the feathering goes all the way through the tail and you see there's even got a little paint on the tail and then yeah it gets to this darker color and his his uh, uh, arms look like really big huge claws all that stuff the feathers go up through the head and then you can see it's got like a little bit of red on the top of the head too i love the eyes though they're sort of like weeping see how they kind of have like uh dripping black on them it's kind of a cool effect um <coughs> excuse me um you can really get a good idea of it there too and here's some of his roars so yeah there's a lot of detail around the eye it's really interesting that they 
really leaned in there um, with the eye detail, right? But let's go ahead and check out this action feature. Um, there's a switch on the back here. It's sort of like a, a switch that goes two different ways, left and right. So if you switch it, so he goes, so he kind of pivots his head, but he can, when they say levels of aggression, you can go a little bit, you can go a lot of it. Looks like he makes different noises compared to how, how you do them. Whereas if you only do it a little bit. Versus a lot of it. So different noises. And yeah, it's all controlled by the switch on the back that makes his head rotate in place, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, um... Yeah, I mean, he's he's got, that's basically his action feature, right? So everything with his head and his jaw is uh, is kind of tied to that. But he does have some nice articulation with the arms I already showed. Arms that twist in and out and back and forth. The legs also go back and forth and, and, and you know, side to side. So they have both ranges of motion, both away from the body and also with the body itself. And they pose independently so you can do, you know, running poses. Let's see if I can get him to balance. Yeah, I mean, my, my table's a little wobbly, but look at that. He's already doing um, some pretty nice balancing, which is cool. Because his feet aren't even necessarily oversized, in my opinion. They're they're sort of proportionate to the rest of the body. So, yeah, he's got really a really cool feather look to him. And I have to do a little comparison to uh, um, fellow buddy collector Greg mentioned. He'd, he'd look great next to Rug Ops. And I have to agree, um, they both have, like, very similar paint sensibilities with the darker head and the darker tail. Of course, they're both covered in feathers, very bird-like, but they also have red head and, or red eyes and all that. So they look very similar. Rug Ops almost looks like the baby if it wasn't for that, you know, weird head shape. But you can check out my review of these guys um, in another another uh, big unboxing video. But we'll get back to EO Cartria here. Again, my second Dion Trackers figure, the Wild Roar assortment is supposed to be that fourteen ninety nine assortment. So you can see it next to, you know, um, who is this? Rahasaurus, another carnivore from last year. I love this paint color, but it actually matches really well with Eocarcheria too. So you can see they're very similarly sized figures, um, same height, uh, more or less the same length. I mean, Raha here looks a little longer, but he's also a little thinner, a lot more bulky plastic with uh, Eocarcheria here. It's got a lot more, a lot more heft to him. Um, and then sort of like just comparing to the other Dino Trackers I have so far, Sino Tyrannus. They're actually very similarly sized. Sino Tyrannus is just a little bit longer um, uh, and it obviously has a little bit more articulation and action features with that tail that moves. No electronic features, but um, these figures are also very similarly priced. Just this guy's got electronics, but he is cheaper. Um, than the bigger figures that come with, you know, more action features and more gear and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, I mean, th this is the first two figures I've gotten from Dino Trackers, and I'm very impressed with both of them. They're both really cool uh, carnivores, um, I think. So, really cool stuff there. Um, Eocarcheria is, of course, part of the Wild Roar assortment. So, there's actually a few more figures coming out. I talked about them on the back of the book, but our back of the packaging, but I cannot wait to get more because. Um, that Chronosaurus looks great, but uh, here's uh, also, just for size comparisons, Eocarcheria next to a, um, a, a, next to a mercenary, and of course he can, see if I can do that right, see if you can get him to, to pick him up. He doesn't have a very strong bite, it looks like, um, but uh, he, he is able to grab things. I do like how they keep the mouth in closed neutral neutral too you know like instead of having it like this and you're pressing the button to make it close i mentioned that in pseudo tyrannus too i think they've probably listened to a lot of feedback about that and just the closed mouth is always going to be better for figures that's a better neutral pose and then whatever action face you're doing makes them open their mouth so i like that yeah ear crush would be a very cool figure uh again special because of all this feathering on it tons of feathering but Gotta love those bumps on the back of the leg. And just really cool coloring with some neat details like the weird sort of like weeping, bleeding eye. Um, he's, he's got, you know, he's got a very unique look to him. 
Um, and this new Wild War action feature is definitely interesting. You have to check it out on the other figures. It's not quite sold on it. It's certainly not easy to do, like the um, like the Dominion figures were so easy. You literally just press down them and they roared. And these you kind of have to work on it. So still a great figure. Um, Eero Carcheria. There'll be more to come though. I'm just getting more and more. Uh, dino tracker toys kind of by the day so stay tuned to the channel i'll definitely be looking at more figures but i think that's all i got to say about eocarcheria here um again i'm tim the collect jurassic thanks for watching and i'll see you next time